Early in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cab Topical Juice, and we are back with episode four. Blue therapy. I want some more. Hey, listen, I can't lie, yeah. I'm sucked in now, boy. I'm sucked in. I don't, I mean, I care if it's fake, yeah. I don't care about any of all that. It's as I told you, the concepts are real. So, and it's hella entertaining. Big man thing. So, I've seen the trailer. It looks exciting. I ain't even gonna do this waffling thing. I don't really need to talk too much. I'm here for the bounce. I'm here for the comedy. I'm here for big bald baby. I'm here for all of it. The episode is called "I Didn't Call You Fat." You have a guilty conscience. <laughs> Yo, you know what? Forget it. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified. Support your boys, TJ Merch. In the link below. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Boy. Give me some idea how your life routine was before you got together. So, let me shut my window. Um, well, speaking for myself, of course, I went to work, I got back, I worked for my business. Sometimes I would go and see Paul, um, obviously, do the whole cooking here and there, and he would cook for me. And you know, if I was in a dirty environment, I would try and clean up, but that's pretty much it. I didn't feel as though there was an obligation to do these things, I didn't feel like it was my duty. Um, to cook, for example, you know. And how was your daily routine? Um, literally up in the morning, out with a few clients, come back, work on a few more clients online, um, food preps, so I'd probably prep for like the next four to five days, something like that. Um, tidy environment. Right. So how has this changed since you've moved in together? <laughs> I'm his chef and his cleaner. That's how you feel. Mm. Yes, it is how I feel. Um, I've got a busy schedule as well, but Paul likes it when he gets home from work and food is ready. Since I've moved in with Paul, he now wants Paul. me to cook every time I have time. In the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, every, every second and weekends when I come back from work. Honestly speaking, he was eating prior to me moving in, so I don't understand what's going on. It wasn't takeout, so you were cooking, so why don't you cook? The thing is with him, he likes fresh meals. I'm not gonna cook for you every day, I'm not your chef. Again, I'm a Nigerian woman, I don't mind submitting to my husband or my, my boyfriend, and, I'm, and I understand the importance of feeding him, but Paul eats meal preps. He eats rubbish, unbland, uh, bland food, unseasoned food, and I don't mind doing that, maybe on a Sunday, a Sunday evening, but he would like me to prepare these horrible dishes every single day. At any time, do you ever eat the same meal together? Let me tell you one of my biggest problems. He's kind of denounced our cultural foods. Oh. Yes. So he has issues with the fact it's oily. Even though he eats ice cream and he has takeout, he finds it um, too heavy. You don't have to eat it during the week, but on Sundays, for example, we can have a... a a dinner, we could have some African dishes that, and that's one of the reasons he actually fell in love with me, my cooking. And all of a sudden now it's too fresh or it's too heavy and it's too fatty. There's too many calories in these dishes for him. Um, is this, have you always watched the calories and uh, your weight, presumably if you're watching the calories, or is this a new scenario? It's a very good question. <laughs> uh, I feel like Chama is very selfish. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> how am I selfish? Because okay. I want to cook for you. Okay, but how, what's funny though? The fact you just out said I'm selfish. You motherfucker. Was no, well, first of all, I'm not selfish. I would like to cook for him, but he makes it very difficult to cater to him when I'm busy as well. Based on the question she asked, in terms of my food history, you basically have knowledge of it. Um, you know, I don't know you to tell you anything about myself, but here we are. I'll give you a tiny bit of uh, background. So uh, I, I actually went through um, depression at a stage and um, food was my outlet. I hear that. So at that time, I hear um, that, you know, if I was going through stress or anything, I used to eat and that was just me making myself feel happy for the short term, but damaging my own body in the long term. Mm -hmm. um, it actually took me quite a while to, you know, lose the weight, get into shape. And, you know, since I've kind of got back onto track, I've been uh, very basically religious and strict with my workouts, you know, my, my diet and stuff like that. You know, I literally have a board 
them in a room which Bored. shows you know what I plan to eat. This is something that I take very seriously. I feel bad. I feel like I've let him down in some oh. way. I don't understand why he didn't feel comfortable enough to speak to me about it. And it really does upset me oh. that, you know, I'm hearing about it for the first time in our therapy session. I didn't tell Trauma about my depression because I feel like, first of all, it's something that's very sensitive um, and personal. And at the same time, she she can be quite insensitive as well. <laughs> so, yeah, just going to just kind of give off something just like that. It's easy for her to kind of use that to manipulate and potentially. What's he on? Basically, you know, I wasn't going to have that. And just excuse, were you doing this when you were together? I can't you know. Something up. This is my problem with him. So he's just expressed something to you that he's never expressed to me. I had no idea <laughs> that he was depressed and use food as an outlet. You've never, for once, told me that, and we've been together three years. So, of course, me wanting to make you traditional food is going to come across selfish if I don't know this knowledge. Mm. To me, he wants me to do meal preps. You want to live a healthy lifestyle, which is absolutely fine. But the fact that you used to cook before and now you don't want to cook is what I'm complaining about. Mm. I had no idea that you were depressed, babe. Like, mm. you could have easily said that to me. Mm. We could have had a conversation about this, and I would never bring it up. So let's look. All right, cool. So just before I carry on with this, listen, I empathize with him a little piece. The whole eating thing, I still deal with that to this day. I am 26 years old. I still binge eat like a mother. You get me? Like a and I, Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm in shape now-ish. Actually, in fact, I need to lose weight and I'll announce one coming soon on that. Video's going to be a little mini-series coming. But my relationship with food is complicated. I understand. So I empathize with my man, you feel me? That whole thing there. But he is literally a... I can't believe how selfish and narcissistic this guy is. Like, here I am thinking, oh, little sob story, man's depressed. Oh, he's using food as an outlet. And then he just turns around and he says, oh, yeah, she's selfish and, oh, she's insensitive. That's why I didn't tell her. But, fam, what's wrong with this guy? And secondly, yeah, I'm definitely on her side still because when I fell in love with the gym, I was about 16 years old, that's when I decided to cook for myself. Yeah, my mom's still happy to cook for me, even now, if I wanted to. My mom's just lovely like that. But I, I learned to cook myself from that. So 10 years ago, I, I was cooking more food because I wanted to know what goes into my body. So at 16, I'm doing that. He is a big, 40-year-old, grown-ass, big, bald man. And he needs, he needs his girl of three years to cook for him. Joke, man. That's right. I used to cook for you, right? Yes, you did. <laughs> you sure? What did I used to cook? Barely. He would make, like, rice. Some stew, chicken. Do you um, see me eating that now? Let, let me ask you a question. If you know that the way I've kind of changed my food and lifestyle has made me into the man that I am, and if you're happy with what you have, why would you... Does this... OK, look, OK, babe. Right, look at me, look at me. Not in a cocky way, but just, just look at me. Do you like what you see? When I met him, <laughs> oh, really? No. So we started. So he started gymming, yeah. And my African dishes, these fatty dishes, also built you to the man you are today. Correct. African you dishes. You loved it. The majority correct? of African dishes are filled with carbs. Muscles are built based on protein. So technically speaking, or you can eat beans. How are they talking about this? You can eat beans and yam porridge. You can eat all these things. Can How you is this? I feel like How? with Chana's diet. She doesn't take it seriously, um, you know, considering what I do, the people I work with and the results that I get, the results I've got for myself, I think that should kind of motivate her to want to take her diet more seriously, but she doesn't, and that's basically a red flag it, to me. Like, how, how are we going to work? I'm not even trying to make it every single day, that's the thing. That's I'm a red not flag trying to, me, to make boy. it eat that every single day. For me, I just want it to be incorporated. Sorry, I've got to pause that. That's a red flag. That there is very emotionally um, manipulative. It, obviously, if this was a real relationship, behind the scenes, that's very damaging to someone's self-esteem. If you're telling them, oh, you know, you could probably do with losing a few pounds. He might not have said it there, but he said, oh, she doesn't watch her weight and this, this and this. And blah, blah, blah. What, what, what part of her weight does she need to watch? In fact, I'm watching her weight right now. Her weight looks good. Man's watching it. You hear what I mean? Come on now. Lifestyle. If we have children, my kids are going to eat these things. I hope you know. Uh -huh. I hope they're even addicted to pounded yam. If you don't like it, it's your <laughs> business. You can live on your um, meal prep, your bland chicken, and is it is it um, what's it cauliflower and broccoli? If you like that, you can eat that. We have touched on it before, but I'd like to just bring it back 
for the moment. The trust issue. Who'd like to uh, start on that one? <laughs> um, so Deborah claims that she doesn't trust me. Um, claims? Which is... What's the word for it? You shoot yourself in the football. Eh? Mind-boggling because I feel like trust is so important in a relationship. If she doesn't trust me, why, why exactly are we in this relationship, honestly? Have you ever given her a reason not to trust you? Never. You, you block so, girls. What does it mean? Uh, you block, I don't think it's actually a particular... You block girls on Clubhouse, fam. Never. So you never lied and said that you were somewhere and you were somewhere else? No, I never. What Memory loss oh, sounds yeah. like. Oh. What are you talking about? Um, uh, so, uh, uh, Jamal uh, told uh, me uh, that uh, he was training a client. So and was. Actually, <coughs> he wasn't. He was just at his boy's house. Now, he wasn't actually doing anything wrong. But you said you were training a client. She does moan a lot. Fuck it now. It's just little things like that. It's dishonesty, and it really didn't have to happen to me. You could have just said that you were at your boy's house. That's it. Was there a reason why you didn't say where you were? Mm. I literally went to go and collect some equipment. That was the only reason. Then I went back to my training my client. No. Yes. Oh. This, that's not what he told me, that's a different story because you said that actually you wanted to train him that day but then you ended up chilling. So no, then now you're saying that you... Okay, well, his story is just not adding up, Jamal. Like, I don't know what to talk about. Yeah. Jamal is just too dodgy, like, we're always having female issues. There's too many females around him, oh, whether that. it's Clubhouse or his fitness, we're just always having issues about it and that actually um, increases the trust issues that we have and more reason why I'm always seeking to find out like where he's going or what he's what doing. What do you lot think? I think you did mention before that, that some of his ladies that he trains you're not happy with. One time I decided to stop off and pick up Jamel from um, one of his training sessions in Brixton and stop off. You know, he didn't Looking expect me to come up. I, I went upstairs say, I and I was just, like hovering around. And I wasn't really understanding the kind of contact that he was having with some of the females. Um, it was a little bit close. Yeah, it was too close for me. Um, God damn! Yeah, that's another thing that he does that I feel find, you know, quite strange. Is that within the realms of your job, though? With contact, I rarely touch any client. I thought that's literally a PT protocol, like, you never touch them. I, I don't think you were touching. Is I it? would just say, you know, just the interaction, the verbals, like, I okay. couldn't hear what you guys were speaking about and it wasn't entirely oh, about man. So what was it about, if you... You know what you were speaking about with that girl, like, let's not even, let me not even name drop, because you're not going to want that, okay? So you know what you were doing. <laughs> I feel like you're just so fixated on something. I feel that's the issue with Deborah. Once she kind of has a her mind set on something, that is it. And there's no change in that. I feel like it's just it's a bit too much. It's overbearing, honestly. Are you sure? D Denise, can I, can I, are you you're oh. familiar with palm oil, right? With? Palm oil? <laughs> palm oil, yes. <laughs> Do you eat it at all? I don't know. Why? I've never used it in cooking, so okay. I... This is quite bad for you, actually. It's quite bad for your insides. So, but at the same time, if you know, to be fair, <laughs> I did use it wow. um, in cooking in terms of, well, proportionately, you know, if you weigh it, stuff like that. Some people don't do that, but if you did, then maybe you'd be able to calculate what you're eating. <laughs> so, in theory, what I'm trying to say is... Cook for yourself then, big man! African dishes, but if they're not, if the calories are not calculated, you know. you're just filling your gut and you don't even know what's going on with your body. Do something, right? an issue with African dishes, because if you're talking about calories, like I said before, he eats ice cream. He's donuts. Calculated. It's calculated. He eats donuts it's and calculated. also eats takeouts, so pizza, etc. It's calculated. I don't need to calculate. Did your, did your mum calculate when she was making you African dishes? These foods are not calculated. I calculate with my eyes. Jesus. So I know how much palm oil I put in there. I know how much oil and ingredients and Maggie I need to put in these dishes. My ancestors never calculated. Do it yourself, my mum man. didn't calculate, nor did my grandma. Idiot. Nobody that taught me how to make my traditional food. It's, it's not calculated. But is there some way that you, that maybe you could prepare the food in a more healthy way that would be more suited I'm not to the way you call the food? What? Who? I'm not going to remix jollof rice or remix um, pounded yam and <coughs> F4 rural. I'm not going to remix that. That's how it's supposed to taste. If you remix it, it becomes something else. A a but there must possibly, you know, Surely there's a way that you could work together to find food that works for both of you. I think he's just become bougie. I think for him, he feels like eating these kinds of food 
makes him look bad or you feel some type of way, maybe eating with your hands. Is, is that what it is? I, I, I disagree. So I've actually realised that Paul's got an issue with African dishes. We're Nigerian. We grew up on these food so I, i'm a bit confused i can't eat african food ever. yeah trust me i'm a bit confused as well because wasn't wasn't my man yeah saying that he loves jollof rice at christmas she's saying i made pasta bake your sister didn't like my pasta bake yeah because i like jollof rice and blah, 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 yeah. in my house we hold it tradition blah 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 xyz blah, blah 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 now you're telling me that he doesn't like african food anyway forget all that why are they trying to make choma Choma, Choma, I want to say it properly, Choma. Listen, anyway, they're trying to turn her into a private chef. Big man, if you want clean food for your own diet, dietary purposes, make it your fucking self. Simple. Day, um, but I wish to incorporate it into our lives and I'll, and I'll dish it, you know, I'm African, I'm proud to be African, I'm proud to be Nigerian, and I'm proud of the dishes I cook. When we first started dating, right, um, you know, we used to, I, I remember I took her to this restaurant in Peckham. Hmm. It's called Lolak, or Lolake. Eh? When we go there, we're getting down this Big kind up of the like, norm, South East. No, 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 we don't say bush, but kind of, you know, you get down, you use your hands and all that stuff. But <laughs> when you kind of think about it, you know, if I'm wearing a 2K suit, do I want to be in Peckham Market? No. I probably want to be Trickley Circus. So no. in other words, you're saying that I'm bush. No, I'm not saying you're... What's wrong with the We go out to high-end restaurants. I would still love to eat pounded yam and efferura. But it's always going to be a part of me. No, 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 that's, that's what I am telling you, Paul, babe, is that we eat it, we incorporate it into our lifestyle. We don't have to denounce it for what? Get in. For steak? Get stuck in. What are you talking about? These things are two different things. Oh, bougie done. Well, you don't need to wear a suitcase. You can wear jeans. He's pissing me off. You can wear tracksuits. Do you dress like this 24-7? I'm not wearing clothes 24-7. So growing up, my mum and my grandma actually taught me how to cook um, all these dishes that I make now. I'm not going to disrespect them by quantifying and measuring every single ingredient that I put into it. For me, this is how it's supposed to taste and this is how it's supposed to be made. This whole westernised way of cooking, that's how they make their dishes. Shoma, what is coming over here is that, that you both have a different plan. Yeah. <laughs> and at some point, if you were to both get onto each other's page... Preach. ..it would be <laughs> an easier solution. Period. <laughs> there's no period and there's no preach. It's a fucking... Listen, let's um, period. Okay. He's exaggerating. He, he, he's telling you, like, I want him to eat palm oil every single day. I don't do you that. You fry it every day. <laughs> no, I don't fry palm oil every day. Uh, I'm getting a tiny bit pissed off. Let's think about this now. All right. Let me give you a case scenario, right? <clears throat> so, let's say I'm up in, give or take, Mayfair. Training <laughs> crime. Huge mansion, right? Now, I'm preaching, you know, be healthy, take. be Mayfair. fit. Come on, let's go. Five more reps, right? I get home. We've got the fucking Afro beats whiz kid pumping in the house, yeah? Trump is there dancing around, frying oil in a fucking pot. What the hell? There's a fucking spray that you can spray to calculate the thing. I've told you this a million times. I've got that you come in the house to fucking play whiz kid like we're in a fucking village. What type of crap is that? Oh. I like Afro beats. What's wrong with my man? I listen to other genres. What? I don't know what you're talking What's about. What's his beef? I don't eat palm oil every day. I don't know what house you're going to, but I don't eat palm oil every day. I would like to eat these heavy foods maybe on a Sunday. I also eat steak and salmon and sea bass and it's everything so else that he eats, just seasoned, all right? What I'm trying to say is the fact Paul does not like Paul. African dishes. We are both Nigerian. Do you understand that? Like, we have we come from a place. So he's denounced his culture Man lied, for his Mayfair Man lied to episodes ago. This is my issue. Not that I want him to but do with, it every single day. With the greatest respect, the Mayfair clients aren't in your house. A fam so why did he come home? I was thinking that. With that same attitude. Though. Trust me. Trauma, Trauma has this whole kind of Afrocentric type of, oh, go back to Africa. I'm African and I'm proud. Yeah, we're all proud to be African. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, we're in London right now. Like, let's get with the program. Do you understand? Africa, yeah, we can do that another time. But right now we're here. Let's get to grips of what's going on. So most of the people you train, do you... Wait, man said you can do that anytime, as in, like, he's not African. As in, oh, we're in London now, we can do Africa anytime. You're, you, no, 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 not anytime. As in, 
You do Africa every time, all day, every day, my bro. I don't know if you realise that. You're African, my guy. You know what I'm saying? So, if your girl... You know what? Why am I even explaining this? You're just moving... Listen, you're weird. You're a weirdo. Some anti-African, anti-Niger man. Even though you said you loved, you loved Jollof Rice a couple of episodes ago. Someone's lying, innit? To the people you train, do you actually know them? Um, there's a couple. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Denise, but yeah, that's the answer. You're gay. Yeah, there's a couple I do know personally. Okay. Um, one being my ex. Yay! I'm managing, Denise, managing. Okay, have you met her then? Yeah, I mean, we've crossed paths. Ex? She seems, she seems nice. So what's the issue? I mean... The issue is that I don't trust you, so that's the issue there. Oh, but so she, the ex, is okay. Okay. I need more notes. But you've got no reason to worry about him with the ex, have you? See, the thing is, I, I don't want to be... I don't like this. Uh, I don't want to be possessive or controlling, <laughs> as he says. So I, I feel like I've I mean, done pretty are, well to allow him to, to continue to train... His ex. Wait, don't you think the use of the word is the word allowed? Yeah, but you know, if I didn't want you to train her, you would be training her. And that'd be the same money that we buy your next Gucci bag. No, no, but but we're talking about your ex. If I did not want you to train her, let's be honest, you wouldn't be training her. So that I have allowed you to do that. No. I don't, I don't agree. Do you know what? At the start, yeah. when Jamal told me that he was training his ex, I didn't really feel too comfortable, but I met her at, like, a party or something, and, you know, she was pretty cool, and for that reason, you know, I was able to make peace with the fact that he's training her. So, yeah, I'm okay with it. If I'm not trusting his interaction with his general clients, his ex, where they have history, you know, it's a little bit funny, but we'll leave that one there. The same way I allowed to get affirmation. Okay. Sorry? What was that? Um, the same way I allowed it to get affirmation. Uh, so it is a party island, so sort of, uh, catered for Afrobeats. And you're both going now, are you? Um, no, she's going by herself. Oh, is she? <laughs> are you? With her friends, I guess. Wait, can we just rewind? Yeah. Um, first of all, you, you trust me, right? Okay, cool. So <laughs> yeah. you're not allowing me to go Afro Nation because yes, I'm allowing you to go Afro Nation. No, that's what we're not going to do. Wait, hold on. Do you remember what happened the year before you went and all the stories that you came to fill me in? Yeah, it, it, it was it was a good year, but at that point I was single. Yeah, so true. Wait, let's clarify this. I allowed you to go as my girl. I allowed you to go. No, because there's nothing that I'm gonna do at Afro Nation that you're not gonna approve of. So you didn't allow me to go. I, I'm able it's too to toxic go for me. I'm, I'm fine. Like, They're trying to outdo each other. Afro Nation, would you go? That's my point. Are you guys know, like, Afro Nation is wild, like, the stories, the videos, the Snapchats, you name it, like, it's crazy. So, me, personally, like, I'm secure, but me allowing Deborah to go because I trust her, that's what it's all about, right? I was just about to intervene, yeah, and say this whole relationship is toxic because they both have insecurities, yeah? He's just come out and said he's secure. I don't know. Listen, my opinion on these is changing slightly. Now, do not get it twisted. I said on episode one that this is the worst type of human about Deborah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that back a little piece. I'm gonna dial it back. Don't get me wrong, I still do not appreciate her attitude, her tone, the way she, the way she is controlling, the way she is, um, she does try to dominate him. She is treating him like a beta male. She is, I can't lie, like, she, the way she just said to him, like, no, 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 like, just the way she said, I allowed you to do this. All, all that stuff there is, that's no good, no good. However, he is way more shifty than I thought at the start, you know. Training his ex, that's obviously gonna make her feel insecure. Blocking her off um, Thingy, the app, Clubhouse, that's gonna make her feel insecure. Not explaining the three minute conversation he had with the girl at that restaurant, but explaining it to Denise in therapy, that's gonna make her insecure. So this could be a, this could be a prime example of a psycho who's actually been made a psycho because the man. But who knows? Because the girl, every, every single time I wanna feel sorry for her a bit more, she just brings it back to this annoying bitch attitude. Sorry, but it is what it is. What's that fit for you? My dad is just gonna pick it. Jamal, I'm gonna need you to please read to Denise what it says on there, because I don't want to embarrass you, so just, you know, please, I, I need you to, to read it. Because you said you wasn't going to Afro Nation, isn't it? You said you wasn't going to Afro Nation. Jamal, just read it. Take your phone back, man. Jamal, can you read it, please? Ah, right, cool. It just says, thank you for. <laughs> 
Thank you for your order. Do you mind it? Hmm? Order for what? You know what it's for. Okay, Denise, so um, this is an Afro Nation ticket, the event that Jamel said he's not actually attending. It says, thank you for your order, Jamel. Please ensure you retain a copy of this email and use your order ID in all correspondence this regarding are... this order for Afro Nation this 2021. Is this is dodgy mm -hmm. as fuck. Like, yeah. when I first oh. found the Afro Nation ticket mm -hmm. in Jamel's emails, mm -hmm. I thought, okay, let me not say anything. Let me see if he actually tells me that he's going. Like, I'm not being funny. You thinking when did he actually think when he did this? Because what do you expect to happen when Afro Nation actually happens? It's very, very strange. It's another reason why I don't trust him. He Argo. Jamel obviously didn't know that I actually Sorry, I have to keep I have to stop this real quick because he's just validated, he's just justified what I said two seconds ago. How the tides are changing. He is shifty. He is shifty. I was thinking the whole time, how did she know that? How did she know that? So once again, it doesn't look good on her behalf because she is toxic and looking down his emails, but he's lying. Listen, it's done. It's done. I don't want to see, I don't want to see an episode of these two together. Break up now. Swap or forget even swapping. Just, just break up in it. Break up. You, you shouldn't be together. As simple as you don't need therapy. You don't need all that. You're done. You, but you both, you're not compatible. You don't, you both don't trust each other. You both need to work on yourselves and that's it. Simple of the ticket for this festival that he said he's not going to. So now I say you're shady. Do you understand? Babe, it's not that. Oh, do you know what? She's going to surprise it to me. Babe. No, that's ridiculous. Surprise me. No, yeah, why not? Surprise now you're being childish because you were going because you had ulterior motives and you didn't want to tell me. Wait, my I'm open, I don't mind. I'm telling, I'm up. Well, I did ask him if I could go, and we came to an agreement. You know, it's not about allowing me, we came to an agreement. Yeah, agreement which I allowed you to actually Okay, go. anyways, we came to an agreement, and the fact is, you knew that I was going to Afro Nation. Like, you're, you're, the way you're playing so it, that's okay. actually pissing me off. Yeah. yeah. Are you if all right? I went, if I went to attend, what's the big deal? Like, if I went to surprise you, that's not a problem. Listen. Nah, you're moving mad still. That shouldn't really be a problem. Yeah, Can mad. you find it in anywhere within yourself to somehow compromise the way you want to eat so that you're both working together. Well, I can easily gain weight and be fucking dirty professor, if that's what you mean. Or you can easily <laughs> cook for yourself. Because again, like I said, I don't mind if you eat that, but you make it yourself. Or we do it on a Sunday. Yeah, well, this well that's a brilliant idea. Monday. I've got things to do. Yeah, brilliant idea. We did speak previously about whether or not you had anything in common, you know, that you do together. This would be possibly a perfect scenario if if i had the time on a sunday <sighs> go on yeah go on look okay or you just uh, choose not to uh, no 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 <laughs> to be fair you know sunday day of rest and stuff okay cool but if i have a client and they have you know a fashion show coming up um, one of the models i train right. basically i need to make sure that i'm on her case to make sure that she's getting the job done you know if, if i have another client for instance in terms of like a website design who are you I'm, lying to who are you lying to because remember, Denise doesn't live with us. I live with you to know you have time, okay? I'm not saying you're not, you're not busy. You are, babe, I get that. But you have time. You can make time during the day. He, he knows he can. So what are you lying about? You have time to cook, Paul. Okay. <laughs> Paul? <laughs> I, 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 I could find... On his body, he's wasting it because we don't even have sex. So stop all your rubbish. Ha! 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 No. Business in a very serious way. Yeah, it is. And your relationship is also a very serious yeah. business. Yeah. Thank um, you. And Shoma has just mentioned the sexual side of your life. Now, has it always been this way? Or no. when you first got together, was it very different? When we first got together, we used to fuck like animals. Do you understand? We had things to do. We were still busy. You and I, we had jobs. We, were, we had businesses. We were busy. But we made time to have sex. Now, I don't understand what it is. Animals. I don't know if it's cheating. I don't know if it's attractive. Well, it doesn't, okay, well, we're asking, when was the last time we had sex? <laughs> Typically, yes, we are animals, but we're not in the bloody forest, are we? Start jumping up and down like a rabbit. 
Like, who's got time for that? I'm busy. I'm Tuck making me money. In. Like, I'm not just there and laying around with my legs open, ready to do a madness. It's not like that. When last did you fuck me? Do you really want to go there? Oh. No, answer the question. Do you remember? Because I don't. Oh. I told you. How can I be in the same house, touching myself <clears throat> with a boyfriend <clears throat> in the same house with me? Okay, no, Denise, Denise, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. Okay. Let's just hear what Paul's got to say. Alright, babe. Babe. I love you. To when you touch me. When I when I come home from work and I and I see my girlfriend, right? When I just see her, I'm happy. That that's love to me. That's enough <laughs> for me. But at the same time, why do you feel like you need me inside of you 247 before you can feel love. I don't feel like I need you inside me 247, but I'm not wood. Okay, 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 I'm a woman okay, okay. and I find you attractive and I would okay, like to have sex with you once okay. in a while. Uh, Even if it's once a week, babe, okay, okay, because okay. we don't do that. Okay, um, what? I have a high sex drive, but Paul has a very low sex drive and we can wait in the middle somehow. Do you know what I mean? I don't mind having sex at least three times a week. A day. We are not even having that a month. Ha! Of course I have every right to complain. Ha! It's a disrespect to him and to myself that I'm having to touch myself in my house <laughs> when I live with my partner. No, you listen, know? listen, listen. Wheel up the blood clot. Listen. Listen. You don't need to be touching yourself, Choma. I'll touch you. Yeah? Obviously, with consent. I ain't trying to... You know what I'm saying? With consent. With, with your blessings, you don't need big bull baby. You now need yourself. Tag me in. This is this this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Big bull baby. She said you ain't even pressing it. You ain't even hitting it three times a month. You're too busy hitting your clients. You're too busy dashing over your clients, dashing over money. Naughty. You first, what? Mhm. Mm I understand that you love me. But I also understand I love me. Okay? <laughs> so you know, what no, no, what I'm saying is, you need to love you first. I love me. You need to love you more. To, to do what? To not be able to release? No, no, in order for you to not feel like you need me to be inside of you before you can feel loved. Don't let me suspect you because at the end of the day, I don't understand what this means. What's he talking about? House, with booty shorts, Paul will walk past me. You want, me to, you want me to say anything? You're wearing booty shorts. No, you can touch my bum, I don't know, slip it in or something. Do something that men men do to their, their girls when they see them. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Shoma, do you ever instigate sex with him? Obviously, right. always. <laughs> There's a situation where we plan to have sex. Paul was, I don't know what happened, he agreed anyway. It's even, a, I'm so embarrassed saying this, like we organised the day where we were going to have sex. I went out, I bought lingerie, I, I ah. bought rose petals, wine, I put, I, you know, dimmed the lights, everything. Prove it. Paul came in, do you know what he did? He ate and he went to bed. <laughs> I have to get him on the weekends and we have to put it in our diary because he's very much about diary, let's schedule this, let's put this in our diary, blah, blah, blah. He's trying to make me feel unattractive even though I know I'm sexy as fuck mm -hmm. and I know there's men out there that would want what he doesn't want. So for me, it's like... If you don't want it, then let me go, kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so that day, um, long story short, um, had a late night. So one of my clients, uh, one of my top clients, he's only in the country two weeks. Clients! Um, Is that what month. man does? Um, he lives in Abu Dhabi, long story. Anyhow, um, so okay. I actually set him a target. So because he was going on holiday, I didn't. I assumed that he wasn't going to reach that fitness target. And I, I, I had a bet with him that if he exceeds the target, I'll run 10K in front of him. So with clients like that, I can't say to them, oh, I'll give you a discount. No, that doesn't work. You need to do something. So long story short, what is he, talking about? he hit his target and I ran the 10K, right? <clears throat> By the time I got home, I was knackered. Now, Trauma basically wants me to carry her that night. Uh, wait, <laughs> first things first, if you know you're meant to hit it tonight, why would you then promise your client 10K? In fact, you know what? Let me just hold my thoughts. He just said Choma wanted him to hold her. Let's see where this develops. Not necessarily. Did you, did you say anything about your situation at work 
Or did you leave Shoma not knowing why? Because it, it might have been read as if you weren't interested. Of course I'm interested. I've been bothered. No, I don't, I don't think he is, because at the end of the day, I knew nothing about the 10K. He agreed to have <laughs> sex that day, so why are we not having sex? No, because... You let me go out and buy lingerie. You allowed me to cook. You still don't, ate the food. No, no, why were you tired I'll, I'll tell you the problem that I have with Choma, right? I feel like whenever she initiates sex, it's not genuine. And what, what I mean by that... But let me explain. No, no, no. You're I'll, together. I'll What's wrong with you? Now. What's wrong with you? She has uh, different approaches, right? Sometimes I could be at the door, she's dragging me in from the tie. You understand? Know Other times it's a dream. she could play it cool. She could say, okay, you know what? She's gonna cook this. Meal prep, by the way. She cooked this. Uh, so look, listen to this, right? One day, um, long story short, by the end of the night, she had the rose petals, she had the candles, she had the massage bed, right? So I'm laying down, I'm getting the massage, and I just think to myself that you know what the funny thing is? A million percent. That massage has to end with a happy ending. Why are you saying it like I did something wrong? But that's not a happy ending. Sex is not a happy ending. No, if a massage has to have a happy ending, that is not a happy ending. Do you see what I'm coming from? We can just look at each other. Are you gay? You know, <laughs> sit in silence. What's he on? It doesn't necessarily have to be the bang bang. It's not like that. I just like a calm vibe. Like let's let's be chilled with it. Let's be mature. Why am I having to do these things? in order to have sex with my man. Mm. Why do I have to lure him in order to put him in a position where, okay, he I'm might want to have sex with me? I'm a sapiosexual. What does that mean? Do you, are you not attracted to me? Of course me? I'm attracted to then you. Then why are you not trying to have sex? No, no, I'm, I'm trying to have sex, but at what? the same time, what? mentally, right? You're not there. I don't want to feel like, okay, anytime you're doing something, you're doing something because you want something. Okay, so why aren't know. you initiating? Why Why do I have to do something? There are days where I don't necessarily do anything. Why can't you just come to me and, you know, try it? All right, look, look, okay, look at Hang this. Hang on, now, I've got an idea, okay? So this you. is something that we do regularly in therapy. Just for a moment, take a minute, and let's go back to what made you fall for each other in the beginning, okay? Bear with me. I would like you to turn and face each other. Don't say anything. And just look into each other's eyes for approximately... It's going to feel like forever. But in that time, you will find something within yourself that was there at the beginning. Go on, say something, buddy. Believe me, this, this, this does work. So just please, just turn and face each other and look into each other's Denise eyes. Denise is getting a lot of airtime this episode, though, right? If you wouldn't mind, thank you. Come on, um, It's not supposed to be a penance, by the way. I don't know, it's not that hard, I like. Sorry, I'm just... So what do we do? We just, we just look at each other. And then what happens after that? That's just, it. Just... Okay. Is this affirmation? It's pretty, it's pretty big, I guess. So, would you see each other if you were there? That was a joke. It was not something I was going to hide from her, really and truly. How can I even hide from an affirmation? Like, affirmation is quite small, she's going to see me regardless. Denise, the thing I get that, but... for me is the fact that he lied. Let's call it what it is. A lot. You lied. You said you wasn't going, and on your laptop, yeah. I found the festival ticket booked. How are you going to explain that? Are you, are you going to explain how you found it? I actually personally didn't buy my own ticket. So... God. <laughs> He's got an answer for everything though, isn't he? went in 2019. Obviously, that's going to go in 2020 as well. So I thought, ah, oh, let's all go together. <laughs> for, for, she told me that we should go with her friends. I was thinking, ah, oh, that's cool. I was going to go anyway. So obviously, my friend said, yeah, let's all go. I thought... That's... You're actually waffling now. You're waffling and you're deflecting. I'm... Can we please address the fact that he lied, Denise? I didn't lie, I just wanted to surprise her. Honestly. So, you know, the one thing that does have to happen in a room in therapy is that both of you are as honest as possible. He keeps dismissing so stuff. I really do need to know whether or not you're being honest in your answers. I'm getting flags. Yeah, I'm, I'm being honest. Like, I genuinely wanted to surprise her and have a good time. Like, I'm sure she was, like, if my friends and myself popped over by with your friends and yourself, you just have an amazing time. Like, well, that's limited money you have to spend, really and truly. 
I'm so sorry, I'm not buying it. You lied. That's it. Listen, yeah. Even if he was telling the truth or whatever, he, let's say let's say he is, he doesn't help himself. I agree. I, I don't think he would be up to no good in terms of like actually cheating on her out there. They're going to be there together. Like as in they're gonna they're gonna be in the same vicinity. It's not worth cheating on her with. So he could very well be surprising her, innit? But what's with the the shiftiness? It's just too it's too much deceit, man. Like it's just, he just he just doesn't help himself. You know the ones that he doesn't help himself. And it's only gonna exacerbate her own ever growing insecurities, fam. You know like that. Come on. We're just gonna leave it there for a second and do a little exercise that's gonna help highlight the trust within your Look into my eyes, in my eyes, around my eyes. Show the eyes. openness. So I'd like you to each tell each other something oh. that the other person doesn't yet know about you. <laughs> so something new. I hate your ass. <laughs> Would you like to start? <laughs> oh, Can you think of anything? I guess I got. Um, yeah, I'll go first, I guess. Um, I kind of used to like your sister before I met you, you know. Huh? What sister? Um, yeah, this your. Well, what sister? Yeah, I'm class, isn't it? You used to fancy her. She's just pretty in it, like. Sam, second best. Then, oh, you're not second. Don't put it like. Of all the things you could have no, said. No, I'm not going to go too deep into it. But obviously. You said that. You said M class before me. It's not that. It's not that big of a deal. It's like, I'm still with you now. So why don't you move to M class then? Because I saw you. You oh, don't help that's yourself, weird. though, G. I like that. That's really weird. You don't that's help weird. yourself, G. I'm not a fan of that. Really like like man. Honestly, like, don't play too much into it. It's just. Yeah, yeah. Why did you tell me that here though? Just asking. Like, that's, very, that's very awkward and embarrassing. What am I actually doing here? Jamal is now bringing up that he used to fancy my sister. He's I'm moving. not really liking this pressure. Yeah. Like, we were supposed to be moving in the right direction and making progress, but now he's bringing me information like this. It's embarrassing. It's well, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. I got mine. I got mine, Denise. Yeah. So, Toxic. Let's Jamal, go. I made an OnlyFans account. I haven't used it, but I made an OnlyFans account. You've got a what account? Oh, OnlyFans account? So, um... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You got what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to use it. I, I didn't make it to use it, but I just... I mean, well, maybe you won't. I'm joking, I'm joking. I made an OnlyFans account. What is, an, what is this account? Um, so it's basically... Uh, so people can subscribe to your account and then you can do like private things on there um, sometimes sexual or some like could be a fetish or something. So yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I made one. Look at look at her persona, the way they're trying to outdo each other, G. Come on, bro. And now she's smiling and shit. How does that make you feel now you both know something about Literally oh, I, don't know. I feel great. I feel better. <laughs> you didn't like the task. When did he set this task? I didn't expect it to be like this. I thought it'd be light hearted. But the fact that she came to drop to me that she got an OnlyFans account. She's crazy. And she talks about trust, about me, this and this and that. You're both nuts, blood. How the heck am I meant to trust her when she got an OnlyFans account? I get the feeling that you're not feeling so happy about things. No, oh, I feel like, what's the point of even coming here? And I just, I'm pretty much over and done with, well, done with this. But, but this was your idea? Yeah, my idea. And I just thought it would be better for us. But it's not going any better. Well, after a year. Okay, well. Idiot. For face value, I understand, you know, bald head, beard, I'm a hunky guy. <laughs> I love heavy metal. I get it. But, you know, coming home... I'm sexier than you, big man. Technically, every mm. time we have sex, having to carry my girlfriend, it can be a bit... You know, first, you don't have to carry me every single time we have sex. And if, even if you did, like, what's, what's the issue? You used to carry me before. So, are you lazy now, mm. or what? Things were a bit different. In what way? Don't say it. I've gained weight. I, I didn't say that. Then what, much. then? What's the problem? Well, would you know if you gained weight? Uh, All my clothes still fit, so I wouldn't think I've gained weight. Would you know? I guess, yeah. I haven't, I haven't gained weight. Have I gained weight? Is that what you're trying to say? No, I'm not trying to say you've gained weight, but since we're on the topic, let's have the discussion. So, uh -huh. random question. Just out of curiosity. 
In the last six months, have you weighed yourself? I'm just asking. I can't believe what I'm hearing. What? Okay. Have you ever calculated your ca your calorie intake? Yes or no? What are you trying yes to do? No? I don't calculate my calorie calculate intake. It. So, okay. If you didn't calculate it in the last six months, the last three months. Yeah, but I've my, my, I still eat the same. You still eat the same? Okay, cool. Do you calculate what you're eating? I can't believe what I'm hearing. No, 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 no. You're saying something. You brought up. You brought up. Let's have the conversation. I didn't bring it up. We're in therapy and it's a safe place. Let's have the conversation. Now, if we really want to break it down a bit. What are you saying? No, no, no. I'm not saying you're fat. But you just you just said, I didn't say you're fat. You're the one that's saying the word fat. Did I say fat? I didn't say fat. What I'm saying is. Why are you getting so defensive? I'm not getting defensive. She's trying to put words into my mouth. What? I never said she is fat. She's the one that brought it up. He's the and, worst! You know, when you kind of look at it, she's technically, psychologically taking accountability for her own mistakes in terms of, like, maybe her diet or fitness or anything like that. It's not my fault. This is an issue she has for herself. She knows what I do, right? And at the end of the day, between the both of us, we've had Bam. discussions where she has mentioned... Bam. She needs... She, remember, he said she needs healing. She's toxic. She's fat. She doesn't cook for me. I don't want to have sex with her. What are you doing with her? What do you want as a wife? Do you want some... You want like a robot chef or something. Well, I don't actually get what you actually want in a woman. I don't understand. I don't know what you understand. I don't know what you want in companionship. Or what do you actually want? And in fact, I need to ask the same question to her. What do you want? Yeah? Because clearly, what you want, big bald baby, Ain't giving it to you, B. Damn. She wants to lose weight, right? And I said, great, I support you with that, right? However, when it comes to me trying to kind of keep her in check in order to motivate her to achieve her goals, it becomes a problem. She says I'm calling her fat. I didn't call you her. Are. I'm saying that you haven't been tracking your intake. Therefore, you can't, these therefore, you can't carry me during sex. No, no, no. It's not. Look, forget about the sex for because now. You've got no, you've no, bring it back to that, man. Gain weight. Let's let's stick to that topic. Yeah, yeah. Because that, you're weak. Is that why you don't want to have sex? No, no, no. It's not that. But I, I just want you to kind of be uh, considerate, sexually, right? At the end of the day, if, if you're not the person doing the lifting, then you're not the person that's gonna kind of look into or calculate the weight. So so that, so in other words, I'm fat. I didn't say you're fat. They just what? said what it is. No, 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 I didn't say you're fat. fat. You're the one that said you're fat. I didn't say you're fat. So I'm fat. I didn't, I didn't, say, I didn't say you're all, fat. You said you're fat. Don't put words in my mouth. Paul, please lower your voice slightly, first of all. And secondly, Shit. would this be a reason for you not to be... be with the, okay, cool. Do you know what? Do you, do you know what, yeah? I'll be honest with you. Yeah, hand them my heart. Yeah, I swear. I will be with you through thick and thin. I promise. I was I was chubby before, and she loved me the same way. She used to really? when I used to have my transformation. So I'm chubby. She was showing what. Babe, hey, so I'm chubby. I didn't say you're chubby. I'm speaking with myself. I said I so was chubby. That even mean? But but now, I was this is a that situation. No woman wants to hear that she's put on weight, especially <coughs> with her partner, somebody she finds physically attractive. The fact that he's not even mm. being direct about it is what's pissing me off. Trust me, it's some beta, beta moves. type of weight and you're going around... That's dancing around. around the bush. Yeah, Trust me, I was dancing around the bush. Right now, very disrespectful. Um, and I don't really know why I'm here. You're getting offensive and I know when you do that. That means I'm, you're, you're trying to say something, but you're not saying it with your chest. Trust me. That's why you don't want to have sex. All that gym, this no is chest. This is a space where you can say however you feel, but not. Don't please don't attack each other. Just did I did I attack her? Okay, did I attack her? I'm not physically no, but verbally it's coming over. Oh, she it's said just, she said she is fat. I don't say she's fat. She said she's fat. She 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 so how is that me attacking her verbally? I'm saying what she just said. You are the worst I'm manipulator. How long? I've ever seen. We've. Because you've just called me fat. I didn't and call you fat. And there's cameras around, first of all. And now this is, you've literally, yeah. this is the first time I'm hearing it. So this is obviously the reason why we don't have sex, because you don't find me attractive. Because you ain't got no That's muscle. True. And you're saying it for the first time in front in front of cameras. That's not true. That's fine. I'm, I'm, that's fine. I'm keeping that. Thank you. I'm done. I don't want to do this no more. Okay. I can appreciate that it's been a difficult session. Um, but... 
If you wouldn't mind, I'm just going to send you away with some homework. Yes, yes Han, can we just do that quickly? Thank you. So what I'd like you to do is write down five things, both of you, five things that you appreciate in each other and five things that you have done for each other. So it doesn't have to be on one day, obviously, over the last few weeks. Can you think of five things with both of those subject matters? Okay. Shoma, please, just calm down. I'm calm. I'm okay. Okay. You know, things do get very heated <clears throat> in sessions. And, you know, sometimes things are said that are taken in, in the wrong way, but... Damn. M making me forget it's acting. Yes. <laughs> Come here. I, you know, I Respect. can see that there's real value in you as, as a couple. Can you leave now? You, yeah, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There ain't nothing. I mean, the only thing fat about. Yeah, let me, let me not talk too much. I understand that Choma's quite upset at this moment um, with the. The way things have kind of played out in terms of the whole weight gain and stuff. Sometimes I try to motivate her, Even and if... the push might be a tiny bit too much for her. Even so um, you know, I'll be accountable, and I'll say, look, I can I can take my foot off the pedal and just kind of sit back with this, and you know, kind of oh. play out easily. I guess. I've always thought, anyway, that Paul's had an issue with my weight just by the way he behaves and constantly <laughs> telling me to do certain things, but. <clears throat> To actually hear it is very painful. I don't want to hear that he doesn't find me attractive, especially when I find him very attractive. I don't even, yeah, this is this is too much. Damn, it's finished, guys. Wow. Listen, even at the end, Big Bull Baby, he still managed to make it an underhanded insult, saying, ah, oh, yeah, she obviously got a bit upset about the weight gain situation like you know what i'm saying <clears throat> very subtly slipping that in there not not she's upset that i called her fat without, without saying it in my chest in front of therapy do you know what i'm saying listen my conclusion of the episode it was live very entertaining wow i, I don't even know what i've gone from here deborah and jamel them two the only satisfaction the only time she was smiling in that whole episode deep it the only time she was smiling in that whole episode is when she got one up on him when she said, I got an OnlyFans account. He was, his mood was there, hers was there. That's when they get enjoyment. <clears throat> when, she, when hers is there, his is here. Because he's saying, oh, it's not that deep. Oh, babe, I want to, I want to do this, I want to do that. Oh, don't look into it, don't read into it. Just kind of get, low-key kind of, not gaslighting her, but I suppose it is gaslighting, just under, underplaying, downplaying her emotions, downplaying her opinion, downplaying his own actions. None of these lots seem to reflect be able to reflect on their own actions and and see how it impacts their partners. You get, obviously, Choma and Paul. They've clearly um, they're not they're not compatible either. She obviously claims that she's attracted to him, and that's heartbreaking for her to find out now that she's gained weight and this that. Well, listen, you don't need Paul. TJ's right here. Listen, that's all I've got to say for today. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, boy. And I'll see you next week. Peace.